We have some brand new information on Avatar The Way of Water, where James Cameron breaks down four key scenes in the sequel in an article on Entertainment Weekly. And when I initially started a recording going through the article, I realized that there is quite a ton to take away from each scene that Cameron talks about, so I figured it would be much better to break each scene in a separate video. Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day, and a link to this article will be in the pinned comment below, and a link where you can enter to have a chance to win the art of Avatar 2 and in this video specifically I want to focus on the section where Cameron talks about the aquatic life and specifically Kiri and do keep in mind that this video is going to contain quite a bit of spoilers with regards to the origin of Kiri. Now the image you see on the screen is the new image of Kiri that was revealed on the Entertainment Weekly article and on surface level this might seem like the image from one of the scenes we see in the beginning of the trailer but we don't actually see this part of the image or this part of the scene in the trailer at all. I say this because if you look at those fishes or what I'd like to call banana fishes you can see that they are not in the trailer at all. So this likely takes place just a couple of minutes after the intro scene of the trailer where we see Kiri underwater. We can also see behind her is some sort of long fish, some sort of strange fish and this is definitely a stunning image but what's even more interesting is the information that follows or that accompanies this image on the Entertainment Weekly article. Now again I do want to warn you that it does contain some spoilers so jumping straight into the article quote here we see essentially fish out of water characters says Cameron or as we'd like to call it in the writing room the unfish in water. Kiri is one of the unfish in water characters. Sigourney Weaver in a brand new role after appearing as Dr. Grace Augustine in Avatar, plays Kiri, Jake and Atiri's adopted 15-year-old daughter, seen here taking her first swim in the Pandoran waters. The origins of Kiri are complicated. She's a naturally conceived Navi raised in the rainforest. It's just that she's born of Grace's avatar, Cameron explains. It's a natural birth, but the avatar is brain dead, but she's not. She's normal. Kiri is going through some emotional stuff by the time she's seen swimming underwater, Cameron points out. It's a scene in which all the kids in the Sully family, including Etaim, Loak, Tuk, and the adopted human child Spider, jump in the ocean for the first time and experience the wonder. For Kiri, she goes from this anxious and depressed state to one that's joyful and reconnected over the course of a three minute scene, Cameron says. Kiri's joy is enhanced from this moment, more so than her siblings. She's a character who is a true sensitive, Cameron adds. She's a person who's very connected to the world around them, far beyond a normal Navi, to the animals, to the plants and to the rhythm and balance of life. When she jumps into the ocean, she has this transformative experience." End quote. So as you can see just from this little bit, that's why I broke up these sections in four different videos because in this section we kind of get the origins of Kiri. All of my speculations, all of my thought, you know, Kiri, it says there that Kiri is born of Grace's avatar. It says there it's natural birth. It also says there that the avatar that Kiri is born from is brain dead. Kiri is conceived, she's a naturally conceived Navi raised in the rainforest. So this confirms that Kiri is born from Grace's avatar, that Grace's avatar was saved by Jake and Atiri at the end of the first movie, and that Grace's avatar was pregnant. And in that scene, or in that image we saw previously, where Kiri is like pressing up to a tank, seeing an avatar in the tank, that is Grace's avatar. And by the leak audio, we know that that Kiri presses up to a tank, it sounds at least like she's pressing up to a tank, and she says mom. So again, with all of this information, all of the images put together, we know now that Kiri's origin, she's essentially born of Grace's avatar. She's a Navi born from Grace's avatar. Natural birth, as Cameron says it, from a brain dead avatar. Cameron also says that she's far beyond a normal Navi, so this does hint that she has some stronger connection to Ewa. Again, my original theory, or my theory last time when I spoke about this, was was that when Grace died, she kind of became one with Ewa and therefore Ewa planted the seed in, in Grace's avatar body, which was Kiri. So that is how Grace, that's my theory at least, how Grace's avatar became pregnant and Jake and Atiri could feel that, that Grace's avatar was pregnant and therefore they had to keep her avatar body alive even though her brain was dead. 
What was also interesting from this from this information is that they say that Spider also jumped in the water with them during that scene, but we didn't see him in that in that um, in that extended clip during the the mid credits from Avatar Remastered. We only saw the Navi, so I do wonder if Spider was essentially edited out in that scene, so to give the indication that he's not with them, that's likely the case. But also we know that that specific scene where the kids jump into the water is roughly three minutes long, as it says, quote, over the course of a three minute scene. End quote. So as I said, just from this information, this little bit and this image alone, we basically got the origin of Kiri to an extent, and although it's not yet been confirmed of who her dad is or how Grace's avatar became pregnant, my theory still remains that when Grace died, she essentially became one with Awa, and in, in, in a way, Awa planted the seed in the avatar body of Grace, and that seed was Kiri, and therefore her avatar body became pregnant, and like I said, Jake and Atiri had to essentially keep her avatar body alive because they knew that Grace's avatar was pregnant. Now if you do want to read through the entire article yourself it is in the pinned comment below so do check it out but what do you think of the fact that we now know the origin of Kiri to an extent? Do you think they're getting to the part where they're talking about too much information about the way of water? Let me know in the comments below and for more avatar content have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time have a fantastic day and stay safe.